everyone here in this video we're gonna be learning about web scrapping for tables why do we need to learn it separately because of two reasons tables HTML tags are slightly different from the regular one and their tree structure is also different okay from the regular one it's a little distinguished kind of thing so to understand it better we're gonna divide it in two parts first we will learn about understand we will learn and understand the tables HTML tags and trees and then we will start with scrapping the tables we will start with scrapping a simplest table which looks something like this and we will do the scrapping of web page uh, sorry of a table from web page which looks something like this as well okay so let's try to understand the structure first so here we have this table and if you have to understand the html scripting behind this then we will it starts with table tag right which represents to this whole table now this table tag would have child tags which are tr tr represents to table row here in this case it has two tr tag okay why two tr tag we will understand in this first one we would have another child tag which is called th th stands for table heading so in combination of these two it represents to this particular portion of the table which is nothing but the column header of the table now looking at the right side this particular child would have another child which is called td which is table data we can say that table body as well right so this represents in combination this represents to all the rows except the heading okay i hope this is clear to you next it the actual script actual html script behind this table is this you can pause the video and you can have a look on this to get better understanding you will be able to relate what i just explained next moving forward the next structure also remains same it's just these two childs become the child of another two child of table tag the first child is t head and this would have these two child and in combination this represents to the this portion of table same way at the right hand side table tag would have another child which is called t body and t body apparently it is pretty clear that whatever structure comes under this it will be representing to the remaining portion of the table so in combination all these three will represent to the remaining rows of the table now if you want to have a look at actual script behind this table then that looks something like this all right now that we have understood that the only difference between both of these two structure is this let's start with scrapping a simplest table which looks something like this now here in my case what i'm going to do is i will i have kept the html script for that simple table in form of text over here so that it will be simple now we will try to do the extract information from this table from this table right month and savings and then each of these rows separately okay let's start with this because we already have it as a string so we don't need to request it okay what we're gonna do is just let's just execute it and then over here we will directly start with making a soup soup will start with bs and in this the variable name which we have over here we will directly put it inside that and then we will use html dot parser okay and then we will see how does this soup looks like it is parsed successfully okay now the next job is if you see this particular script has two tables one is this and then the other one is this our job is to fetch the first one so to fetch first one how would you differentiate it let's say if you have to fetch the second one how would you differentiate it the only differentiator is this attribute so what we're going to do is we're going to copy this attribute so that when we fetch the table we will specify it which table exactly that we are looking for okay so i will create another variable which is called my table and in that i would say soup dot find and in that i would say table i am asking it to find the table and to specify which table exactly i am looking for i will put the attribute over here so the attribute which i have copied is class the little bit of the modification which i need to make is this 
and instead of equals to I need to put colon this is done this is created over here now if I have to show it to you then I can just print it over here and then I can just show it to you all right so the first table is fetched over here if you can see the second table is not appearing next job is to fetch the heading wala portion we only need to first we will start fetching the heading heading and then we will fetch the body part so if you see both of these two things heading is also under tr tag and these body values are also under tr tag how are we going to manage that let me show it to you okay so what we will do is we will say for x in for x in my table dot find all and first we will look for tr tags so this will give me all the tr tags print x you see here i got all the tr tags but i need to fetch the first one only because that is the only portion which has headings so for that i will have to run another loop inside it which i would say for y in x dot find all and in that i will put this tag which i am looking for which is this and let's try to print y over here what happens we got this exactly okay now we need to take text out of it so let's try doing this we got text as well now we will append this in a list i will create a blank list over here i would say row headers and that is blank and then i will same use over here i would say append append is the function which we can use to append inside it okay and then i will again print it to show it to you now here we are done with fetching the headers next job is to fetch the body part okay this portion out of this we need to fetch this portion so we will not look in soup we will keep on looking the my table only because this is our target object now so we will again start with for loop for x in my table dot find all the first line is going to remain same which is looking for the tr because inside tr only we have this thing so let me just print it again it will give the same result right but the problem over here is it is showing you this tr as well which we don't need so what i will do is i'll slice it from here okay i'll start with index one now if you see we only have the body portion here we would require to run another loop but before that we will just fetch td tags only okay so i will say td let me just name it as td tags all right and then i will say x dot find all and in that what i will say is td and let me try to oops let me say it td not tx and let me try to print td tags td tags let's see bravo we got it okay now let's see if we are able to fetch the text oops there is a problem right you see it so what is the solution for that there is a solution let me show it to you okay so here i will say td val out of td tags i am going to fetch the td val and for that what i'll do is i'll say let's say y dot text for y and td tags it's the same loop which we usually write it's same it's the same way little bit of you know modification i mean uh, just in the reverse order rather i can say now if you print td val td val over here and let's see what is it yeah we got it right we are getting the exact text values now all that we need to do is we need to again put it in a list so here i will say uh, let's say table values table values and create another list another blank list and i will use the same over here and i would say append okay now we are done with this and let's print that here we got it 
now the next job is to combine both of these two things all together so you know that uh, what we can do is we can create a pandas data frame okay so we will say pd dot data frame and inside that first i am going to put this value which is the body and then i will use the headers in columns parameter right so what is the list which we created in which we have stored the headers is this row headers okay inside that we just gonna put it and we are done with this particular thing all right we are done with that now the next thing which comes is fetching the fetching it from the web page which is this so i'm just going to take this url from here and i will say let's say my web equals to rqst dot git and inside that i'm going to put my url and after this what i'll do is i'll create a soup for this and for that you know we need to use bs inside that web dot content because this time we are fetching it from the web page so we only need to consider the contents out of it okay so it is just taking few minutes now it will be done it is done and then here we're gonna say html dot parser we are done with this okay let's see it let's try and print it here you see we got the things extracted over here so we don't need this so we're gonna just say uh, remove that for now now before we start let me show it to you show you the structure of this particular table I'm going to do uh, what I'm going to do is go take you in the inspect segment just right click over here and whatever option you get in that you need to go on inspect part okay now if you come over here I'll just collapse it okay if, if you come over here you see here we have the table tag inside that we have t head when you hover over this you see it is selecting to this part only okay now you just notice this now you come over here t body you see the entire table is selected now all that we need to do is we need to select each of these two things one by one okay because on this table we have only one table so on this page we have only one table so i don't need to do separate extraction for table i will directly fetch the table head and table body let me take you over here so i will say table head equals to soup dot find and in this i will say table head or rather i can also say this t head and in this if you see here we go so here we got that heading right here we got the table heading now we don't need to worry much about it again so what we're gonna do is this time I will not write the entire script what I'll do is I'll just copy this from here come back over here and put it right here the only thing which we need to change is the source where we are looking for the tags so this time I will just make it T head instead of my table I will just make it T head now if you see we are done with fetching all the headers so if you come over here these are the headers we have rank vehicle driver time ps kg all right so which we got over here same thing we're gonna do for body as well right so what i'll do is i'll just copy this here let me say table body okay and in this we're gonna say soup dot soup dot t body and if you print this here is what you get now the next thing which we're gonna do is again come at the top over here and copy this particular patch let's scroll it down a little bit over here and just put it now the only thing which we're gonna do over here is just change the source where we are looking for the data okay so the table body I will just change my table with table body and here we got that here we got all the data extracted so whatever we have over here is just extracted now the next job is to combine them all together so for that again if you want you can just copy this come up come little up over here little up 
and just fetch this thing and you can just come down over here and just put it it's because we had the variable name same so it will remain same this time i'm going to create df dot hit because it will be longer so here you see you have this thing created now if you are interested in putting it into excel what you can do is you can say to excel and in that you can just put your location and you can say index equals to false and then what you want to do is i have my folder over here and i will just take this over here and you just say table data dot xlsx done this is exported if you come over here here we have the table data it's again going to take one minute to open the file and then we will be able to see the whole data you see over here we got it rank vehicle driver time PSKG we got the data in it so I just hope that it was clear to you I highly encourage you to practice 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 and put the doubt whatever doubt you get while you are practicing put that into the comment section I'll try my best to get back to you as I always do until then happy learning wish you very all the best